Welcome back to the Victoria Marie YouTube channel. The holidays are fastly approaching and in this video I'm going to show you how I'm preparing for my Document December project. This year I am using LA Studio Document December kit and add-ons. So I'm going to show you that product and I'm also going to show you how I'm going to organize all that product and in another video I'm going to show you how I'm prepping my album. So I am going to use this product, although I'm going to use the December daily format. So I'm going to do a Christmas album where I'm documenting stories on a daily basis. So I'm going to show you the album I'm using, the product that I'm using, and how I'm going to organize all of that. I will post links to available products down below. Here's the LE Studio Document December Kit. I'm also going to show you some add-on products. Now, these items are selling really fast. So make sure you head on over, see what's still available, grab you some of these goodies, and get ready to document your holiday stories. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and dig into all the goodies that I am going to be working with for my Document December project. As I mentioned, I was asked to be a guest designer for LA Studio. So I'm going to show you the products that were sent to me. And then there's going to be probably some more things that I will show you down the road as I'm putting this album together. But before we get into the products, I want to show you first what I am keeping all of my Document December project materials in. So this is a divided wooden, I guess you would call it a a box maybe or a container. I got this from Michaels in 2018 and I had my December daily materials in here. I've since put those away. I'm going to use those when I catch up on my 2018 album and I'm going to use this of course this year to house all of my wonderful goodies. Now here in the middle or inside the container there's three dividers and what I'm going to do is just kind of divide my products up by theme so I'll have stickers and labels I also have some metal tens that I'm going to use for small embellishments I'm going to show you how I'm going to set that up here in a second and then of course a section for all my papers and pocket page protectors and the actual album itself now speaking of the album I'm going to move this out the way for just a second the album that I'm using for this year's project is from simple stories oh snap collection this is a six Six by eight album on the outside it has red and white stripes which cannot be more perfect for the holiday it also has silver hardware so here at the corners and then of course on the spine and it has a nice book plate that you can slip in a label and I just cut some white cardstock and I use some of the Ellie studio puffy letter stickers to spell out or numbers rather to spell out 2019 now I thought about decorating the cover of this album which would be really cute if I was going to have it displayed, but it's going to be on a bookshelf. So I'm afraid that anything that I put on here would be damaged in some way. So I'm just going to leave the cover blank. However, on the inside, it has this really fun white and red polka dot or at least white polka dots on a red background. And I am going to put some kind of embellishment here in the front cover. This has the two uh, small D clips and I'm going to use the Simple Stories page protectors that coordinate with this album. So this is going to be the album that I'm using, a 6x8 album. I've always done 6x8 with the exception of one year I did a 4x4 album, which was fun, but I really love the 6x8 size. So I have that ready to go. I did purchase this from scrapbook.com. And by the way, I will post a link to all available products in the description of this video, as well as on the Victoria Marie blog. So when you get finished checking this out, make sure you head on over to the blog if you wanna learn more and see some still photos of what it is that I'm working with this year. So in addition to the album, let me show you some other goodies that I have that are a part of the collection from Ellie Studio. And I've begun to sort of take these items out of their packaging and set them up in my organizer. So first up, I have this really fun set of wood veneers and it says ho, 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 and I can't wait to use these, or they all say ho, not just ho, 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 but just ho singularly. <laughs> so you can line them up in a, a little line of three to spell out ho, ho, ho if you want to, but there's several of them in this little pack that I can use throughout the season on my projects. Also available is this really fun gold die cut piece. This is an acrylic material and it has that really nice gold background to it. Very fun. I might use this um, on the inside cover of my album, but I'm not quite sure yet. Also available is this Wood Veneer 25, and I do think that this comes with the actual document December kit for 2019. Now, in addition to that acrylic December 2019 piece that I just showed you, there's also a star that's available. Also included is a pack of wood veneers. These have a little Christmas tree. Also, I think it has letters to spell out joy, fa la la, 
um, a little tag that says good cheer as well as a cute little stocking so it's gonna be really fun to to work with here's another wood veneer pack again really fun sayings on it and phrases santa on my wish list tis the season so you have some labels little circle another little candy cane also available are these fun acrylic shapes so hearts and stars so you have a couple of red green black as well as the gold metallic and some of my favorite items are these white acrylic pieces. This pack has the word magic, believe, joyful, and twinkle. And then this one says Merry Christmas. In addition to the acrylic pieces, there are some die cut packs that are available. So there are just the regular die cuts. These are your cardstock die cuts. Lots of images in here, tons of labels. I'm gonna pull some of these out. So in the die cut pack, you see that you get a ton of really fun elements. Some blank labels, some of these little tags here that say December, you can write in the date. Um, little stockings, candy canes, a Christmas tree. Some labels that have phrases on it like tradition, good times. Uh, warm and cozy, so much fun, Christmas chair, making a list. There's also some more labels, deck the halls, currently merry and bright, love this. Um, holiday favorites, some little ornaments, hearts and stars. And I really love this die cut because you can actually resize your photo. This looks to be maybe about two by two, somewhere around there. You can resize your photo and you can adhere it to this and it looks like a little photo strip. Next up are the Good Cheer Acetate Shapes. Let me open these up and show them to you. So there's tons of little shapes in here, but mainly you get hearts. There are some three by four pocket cards, which will be great to use if you're doing pocket scrapbooking. Little phrases like Merry Christmas, little circle, simple joy and chair, some other hearts, some little starburst and heart collections there that'll be fun to layer so you get quite a number of pieces in this particular pack there's another card that says ho 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 yeah, there you go it says ho 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 so that's really fun um, another card that says fa la 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 i mean so many pieces here that you can use to um, really create gorgeous spreads in your document December album. In addition to the clear acetate, there's also these Christmas acetate shapes and they're in red and black and green, I believe. So let me pull some of these out. So there are a variety of elements that come with this pack. So Christmas trees and hearts and stars and starburst, as well as little phrases like December and Mary and also these scalloped in banner die cuts. So let's look at some sticker options. First up are these phrase stickers. This is called Oh Holy Night phrase stickers. So you have of course, Oh Holy Night, uh, love, peace, and joy, joy to the world, Christ the Lord, Christmas blessings, the wonders of his love. There's also another one that's called Very Merry Phrase. Now I think a couple of these come with the kit and then some of these are add-ons. So this one says a beautiful sight, very merry, um, the, the perfect tree, fun with family and friends. Then there's a few more. This one's called Christmas Elf Stickers. So our elf has arrived. So this would be perfect if you like, you know, doing the elf on the shelf. Um, hello, my name is Christmas Magic, Santa's little helper, our elf was here. Um, you are on Santa's nice list, cheerful, look who I found and so forth. This one's called Document December Stickers. It has Hi Santa, Milk and Cookies, Homemade, uh, feeling festive, the most wonderful time of year. Also has some little banner stickers, some circle ones, and some labels. Um, a season to remember, one more sleep, and Merry Christmas. And lastly, there are these December date labels, which are really fun. So you can use these to number or date the pages in your daily album. So again, some of these stickers come with the kit and some are available um, as add-ons. And I believe the things that are in the kit are also available separately too. So you wanna check the LA Studio website for more information. Next up are my absolute favorite things that LA Studio sells, and that are the puffy stickers. So first up are the alpha stickers. So they're available in black, green with a dark green polka dot. It's really, really faint. You can barely see it, but it's there. Also these alternating colored ones with red, pink, a dark green and a light green, and then white. There's also these really cool red and pink sort of dipped effect letters as well. So on the top, it looks like it's pink and then on the bottom, it's red. In addition to the puffy letters, you can also grab the Christmas shapes and dots puffy stickers the Wonder Puffy stickers, and it has lots of phrases, December, Joy, Merry Christmas, Santa, Magic, Wonder, Twinkle, Tradition, and Love. Also, there's a few labels, and then look at those tiny little stockings. Those are really cute. There's also the Puffy Number stickers. This will be great to number or label the days in your album. And of course, they're all in a different style. So some are in the numeral text style, some are a label, some are a star. So this will add a lot of interest to your album. And then lastly is the Ho 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 Puffy stickers. So of course you have the Ho 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 here, some other labels, happiness and cheer, love the season, December, favorite tradition, merry moments together, in the air, there's a feeling of Christmas and so forth. Love the Santa hat, the little tiny presents, 
a little mug of coffee or cocoa, as it will, and then the candy canes and the Christmas tree, all very fun elements for decorating your album. Next up are some more letter stickers. These are called the Hazel Tile Alphas. So this one in gray. There's another one with white with black text. Then there's some Jane Alphas. All of these are my favorite, I absolutely love them. So I have the Jane Alphas in black and red and in white. I don't think you can quite see those, but they are white. So included in the kit are a set of six by eight papers. And I think ideally you can use this not only in a six by eight album, but if you want to use it in a traveler's notebook or some other format, you can. The kit is not necessarily designed for a specific style of album. So you can grab the kit and you can adapt it however you want to. So if you like doing traditional 12 by 12 layouts, or you want to do six by eight or a traveler's notebook or some other format, then you can definitely use all of these materials for whatever format that you want. So let me show you the six by eight and I'll be using these as six by eights in my album since my album is a six by eight. And these are just single sided papers. So first up is this red design. It has kind of some white polka dot detailing there. My favorite is this calendar. And this is something that I've been doing for the past two or three years of my December daily is putting a calendar in the front. And it's great to document events or things that are going on, especially when the time gets busy, December gets super busy. And if you do your December daily albums or your document December or whatever daily project that you're doing in January after the holiday is complete, you could at least keep track of all the things that were going on and have a record of that in your album. There's also the green pattern paper with stars and hearts, a black and white stripe, nice and classic pattern. This one's really fun. It has a bunch of trees and candy canes and stockings and looks like ornaments. A tone on tone grid design, the fa la 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 la. This is really fun. A gray and white polka dot and then a multicolor polka dot. It has black, green, red, and pink. Including the kit is also a set of three by four pocket cards. Again, you can use this for pocket scrapbooking. You can also use them for traditional scrapbooking as well as in your traveler's notebook. So let's take a look at these cards. Next up are the four by six pocket cards. Now available in the shop is a pack of this style of three by four card with a December label, as well as the days of the week you can circle and add a date. This would be another option if you wanna date your days, of course, add some journaling here. In the pack that you get with the kit, I believe there are about three of these cards in there, but you can certainly buy an additional pack. So 
They come in red in this pack. There's also green, gray, and black and white. Now, last but not least are all the stamps that are available in the shop. I am a huge fan of Ellie Studio stamps, and so I'm glad that I have a nice collection here to work with this holiday season. The first one's called Christmas Phrases Stamps. So your typical phrases, the joy of giving, holiday adventure, happiest season of all, around the house, homemade cookies, or homemade goodies rather, Christmas carols, this is so good, and gather together. This is called the Holiday Words Stamp, and I just love that typeface font. It's just so nice. Also with this, you get a stamp where you can actually put lines inside your label. So you get a solid label, you get the outline label, and then these two lines that you can actually layer these together and then put your word sentiment in there. So visiting Santa, family, friends, peace, Christmas concert, winter vacation, holiday gathering, hot cocoa, Christmas canes, Christmas tree, and so forth. There's also the Holly Jolly stamp. Lots of fun little sentiments on here as well as elements. You have your Christmas favorite, the little circle with the heart, presents, this December stamp. So if you want to make more of this embellishment, you absolutely can. Here's that label that I showed you on the pocket card that's available as a stamp as well. Some numbers. You can actually use these numbers to stamp right here in this box to date your pages or whatnot. Or whatnot. Love this tradition. Merry Christmas. Here's Ho 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 again. Um, this December story, Holly Jolly. There's also a date in place, sort of a header for journaling that you can use. And of course, the follow la 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 stamp. If you haven't seen the Jane Alpha stamps, go out and get them. There's also coordinating dies that go with the stamp as well. So this is the large number stamp. Love this candy cane design. Cannot wait to use it. In addition to the numbers, you get the pound sign. I'm sorry, that dated me. Hashtag, that's what they're calling it now. The question mark sign. I think there's an exclamation in here somewhere. Yep, it's right there. And then some other little elements. And then here's the large Jane Alpha stamp set. Again, there are dies that are available in the shop that you can purchase and you can die cut these letters out. I'm just gonna stamp them directly to my pages. But oh man, I just love this so much. It's gonna be so much fun to use. And then there's the large Jane number stamp set. So you get the solid numbers and of course the different elements here, your exclamation mark, question mark, um, that type of thing. And then here's the outline and these are perfect for layering. So you can stamp using your solid stamp and then layer the outline on top of that. And then of course the large Jane Alpha that has the solid letter um, stamps there. So these are gonna be really, really fun to work with. And you can use them on a multitude of different projects, particularly these Alpha stamps. Now, in addition to the Ellie Studio stuff, I did pull some things from my stash and I did buy some other elements to go into my album. So the first thing that I grabbed from Tuesday morning is I have these little pockets here. This is from the DIY shop. And my plan is to put like tickets and receipts and things like that that I like to collect throughout the season as we're having fun adventures. I also picked up some Christmas um, twine. This is from Tim Holtz by Ideology. It's a red and sort of a cream design there. And then I also picked up some mercantile stamps or mercantile tags. This is my favorite type of tag and I've been buying them for a long time. This is from American Crafts and I do like to plug in little tags here and there, not only for journaling, but also to use as a base for embellishing. In addition to all of that from Joann's, I picked up some metal rim tags. This is an embellishment that I fell in love with when I first started doing December Daily and I saw Allie Edwards using these. And so I decided to pick this up and include those in my album like I do every year, include that in some way. I also have some leftover ribbon. I'm, I've had this ribbon for probably five or six years now and I'm just getting to the end of it. So more than likely I'm going to use it up this season. I have some more of these extra mercantile tags that I've had laying around as well as some white tags that I can do some stamping and journaling and whatnot on. I also have a Heidi Swap roller date stamp that I like to keep in here. I have another Christmas stamp. I need to find it. It's probably somewhere in my stash. I also have some jute. And I have some Felicity Jane little chipboard pieces and they look like this, this little circle here, both black and white and they have different phrases on it. And I thought that'd be, that'd be cute to use on this project because some of the elements with the Ellie Studio products have black and white design. So those are all the extra things that I'm going to be using. So let me show you how I'm gonna set everything up in my container. Now my plan is to make sure that this container sits somewhere either behind me, if I have a little storage space behind me, or on my desk when I'm working on it. So I'm just gonna keep my album right here since I'm gonna be working with that throughout the season. And starting in December, you're gonna actually see me um, put these pages together. 
I'm also gonna put my stickers and my six by eight pages that are gonna go in my album. That's gonna go there, along with my puffy stickers and my labels, or not labels, but my, uh, my puffy stickers and then my regular stickers. Those are gonna go right here. So I have those all squared away. I'm gonna put my die cuts here. I'm also gonna add in my little bins so they have a little space as well. These are all of my wood veneer and acrylic pieces that are gonna go in one bin. By the way, speaking of these bins, when I purchased this wood uh, container, I also purchased these metal bins. And I wanna say I got these from Hobby Lobby as well. And I just picked up three of those and they fit perfectly inside so I can just put my little embellishments here. I'm gonna stick that here to the back. And then of course this one with the twine or the jute in my stamp. And I may end up adding some more stuff to this. I just ordered some more things from Ellie Studio. So there'll be other items that I will add in and I'll show you those as I'm putting this project together. Then of course I have my little envelopes and some extra twine and some tags that are gonna go right here. And then of course my stamps and my four by six cards. So let's put the cards We'll put the four by six cards here and then I'll put the three by four cards in this container here. So that's nice and organized. And then I'm just gonna put my stamps right here. So I have everything at the ready. So when I sit down and I work on this project and I'm committed to working on this project daily because I just love doing a daily holiday project, then I have all of the elements nice and organized inside the bin and I can easily access it. And I'll add to this as the season goes along. I have a lot of, I purchased a lot of holiday stuff this year. I just went holiday crazy. But the document December kit from Ellie Studio is gonna be the main kit that I use for this project. So with that being said, I think I am all done and set up for the holiday season. I do highly recommend that if you're gonna do a seasonal project, then set aside an organizational system or at least establish, I mean, an organizational system to maintain all of those like items so that when you're working on the project, you can reach for those items because you have them all organized and you know exactly what it is that you're gonna use for that project. Also, it's just fun having these seasonal products out. It just puts you in the mood for that type of uh, scrapbooking. So I love the way this is organized. In the past, I've used a 12 by 12 iris case, um, which has been great, but I like having these things out in plain sight so that I can see them. For information about available products, make sure you head on over to the Victoria Marie blog, or you can check out the links down below in the description. I will be back with another video where I'll show you how I'm setting up my album, my foundation pages, numbering my album, and what my plan is for storytelling in December 2019. If you haven't already, before you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button. When you do click that little tiny bell that's right next to it, that means you'll be notified every time a new video is posted to this channel.